You really can't deny how convenient Bluetooth audio has made it to fill our rooms with music. However, that sound isn't always satisfying, and it's not necessarily Bluetooth's fault. Many Bluetooth speaker systems consist of a plastic enclosure with a few miniature drivers being fed by an anemic amplifier. The question is, can we replace the toy speakers with something capable of producing full range sound, but still keep the small size and simplicity? Aperion Audio believes so. And today we're going to be looking at Aperion's Allaire Bluetooth speakers and Bravis 2 8D subwoofer. They've put together a small yet potent package at a discount, including a wireless Allaire Zona Home Audio Link, or HAL for short. We won't be talking much about the speakers, which feature CD quality Aptex Bluetooth and a truly unique remote, because we recently did a full review of them, and you should check that out by clicking on the link below. Instead, today, we're going to focus on the subwoofer and the HAL. Hello, Dave. I mean, uh, Marshall. The HAL system consists of a 3-inch round sender and receiver to wirelessly transmit an audio signal. It's powered by a USB port or the included wall adapter. It can be used to distribute audio throughout your house with up to three total receivers or to wirelessly connect subwoofers at up to a 100 foot range. The HAL features 16 bit and 48 kilohertz transmission quality and it can connect to any on analog audio source via a 3.5 millimeter input or you can connect it to a computer via the built in USB. If you get interference or you want to set up multiple systems, you can easily toggle between the three color coded channels using the button on the front. The HAL and Bravis 2 8D subwoofer shipped with Aperion's trademark attention to detail, including a nice fabric bag for the sub. The Bravis sub is 27 pounds, a 12 inch cube perched atop one and a half inch rubber feet or spikes which are both included, and those provide breathing room for an 8 inch down firing driver. The sub also features two 8 inch passive radiators instead of ports on either side of the enclosure. The enclosure itself is black gloss with rounded edges and it has a very sophisticated look, but it's still small, which means you can tuck it out of sight if you so choose. A 10 and 12 inch version are also available for those with a little more space to give. The Bravis 2 subwoofer is powered by a 300 watt RMS amplifier and has a fairly standard complement of controls, including a power switch with an auto setting, a two-way phase switch, variable crossover and level knobs, a mono LFE and stereo line inputs and speaker level inputs with nice five-way binding posts. Less common is the inclusion of a USB style power port which we use to power the HAL and connect the sub wirelessly to the Allaire Bluetooth speakers. To connect the subwoofer wirelessly using the HAL, I simply had to power the HAL via the USB port on the speakers and the sub. I used the included 3.5mm to RCA cable to connect the send unit to the speakers sub out and the receive unit to the subwoofers stereo line input. The 5 foot cables that Aperion provided were a little excessive in length and they needed to be tidied up with a zip tie. I would have awarded Aperion bonus points if they'd included shorter cables given that these products are being bundled for use together, but you can easily buy shorter cables if you don't like my zip tie method. Because the sub output on the speakers is full range, I use the bass management built into the subwoofer to set a crossover frequency of approximately 100 Hz. The LFE input bypasses the internal crossover, so make sure that you use the stereo line inputs, not the LFE on the Brava sub, if you decide to go this route. After adjusting the volume level to dial in the right amount of bass, and adjusting the phase switch to the position that produced the most bass near my crossover setting, I started my listening. The speakers on their own have plenty of mid-range snap and a good control of higher bass frequencies, but they just can't dig down much past 60 Hz, especially in my large room. The addition of the Bravis 2 8D sub really filled out the low end, and while it may not reach the absolute lowest frequencies produced by its larger brethren, the Bravis sub did have usable input below 40 Hz for my main listening position, and this was in a pretty large room, and it makes for more impactful movies and music than having the speakers alone. The quality of the bass it produced was tight and snappy, and the passive radiator design meant that there was no chance of port noise. For instance, Paul Simon's Graceland album is my go-to for testing out musical bass reproduction. In particular, the track You Can Call Me Al features what I believe is a modern music high watermark with fretless bass work by Bikithi Kamalo. The Allaire and Bravis 2 combo conveyed it faithfully, with the subwoofer adding that weight and body to low notes, while the speakers themselves made sure the details of the pops and the harmonics of the slapped bass were not lost. When I switched the subwoofer out and listened only through the speakers, while the Allaire Bluetooth in a large room would do in a pinch, much of the life and impact was missing without a subwoofer. Flipping the sub back on proved that my large room could still be filled with sound by this small wireless system. 
One downside to the wireless setup is that when the speakers are turned off, power to the USB port is also cut. This results in a loud thump from the subwoofer as the wireless signal from the HAL is lost. This did not happen with a wired connection or when the HAL had a constant power feed using the included wall adapter instead of using the USB port on the back of the speakers. With the Aperion Allaire Bluetooth speakers and Bravis 2 8D subwoofer, you can build a sonically complete yet small and simple music and movie system. While these products alone would typically cost just shy of $900, Aperion is running a discounted bundle currently with those two items costing $769. When you add in the HAL, it results in a bundle price of $898, which means that you're essentially getting the wireless capability for free. I really enjoyed being able to send music from my tablet or my phone via Bluetooth and be able to switch tracks easily with my device close at hand. But I didn't have to settle for the subpar sound most Bluetooth users are growing accustomed to. The Bravis 2 subwoofer tucks nicely out of the way next to a couch. The Allaire speakers are smaller than most of the pictures and knickknacks that I already have on my mantle. And the HAL system, powered via USB, means that I actually have less wires running along baseboards and to wall outlets than I would traditionally. If you're looking for a system that has the latest features and sounds big, but doesn't completely take over your room, you might want to avail yourself of Aperion's Allaire Bluetooth speakers and Bravis sub bundles.